Hello Room 5 students, I'm back with another read aloud, this time an expository nonfiction text. That means we're going to learn about something. In this case, we're going to learn about a particular animal, the cheetah. Now as I read this story to you, I want you to notice some of the features of this nonfiction expository text. You'll see there's a table of contents, you'll see there's captions, illustrations, pictures, definitions, lots of cool things in this book. Now when you're done watching this read aloud video, go to Google Classroom and you'll see a step-by-step -step how to draw a cheetah task. It's a little tricky, but I bet you'll do great with it. Cheetahs by Laura Marsh. Here we have our table of contents. It gives us all the topics in this story and the pages we can find them on. What runs so fast it races by in a flash? What looks like it cries but has no tears in its eyes? What is covered in spots and lives where it's hot? It's a cheetah, and we're not lying. Get it? Cheetahs are large cats that look as cute and cuddly as a house cat, but you wouldn't want to snuggle up to a cheetah. Cheetahs are powerful hunters with sharp claws and teeth. Cheetahs and leopards look alike because they both have spots, but they are different in many ways. Cheetahs have tear marks. These are black stripes that run from their eyes to their mouths. Leopards don't have stripes on their faces. Can you see the difference? Cheetah, leopard. Here are some more differences. A cheetah's tail is long and thin, while a leopard's tail is thick and short. A cheetah's body is narrow, while a leopard's body is wide. A cheetah's head is small, while a leopard's head is large. This section is called Safari Speedster. In a race between a lion, a greyhound dog, and a cheetah, which animal would win? The cheetah, hands down. The cheetah is the fastest land animal on earth. It can reach a running speed of 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. That's as fast as a sports car. Now look at this page. It's filled with captions to go with the picture. Let's read the text first. What makes a cheetah so fast? Its body is built for speed. A long tail balances the cheetah when it makes sudden sharp turns. A flexible spine helps it change direction quickly. Excellent eyesight makes spotting prey quick and easy. Large nostrils let it breathe easily after running. A small head makes the cheetah lighter. Its deep chest makes breathing easier while running. Its claws don't completely pull back into its paws like other cats. The claws grip the ground when running, like cleats on a shoe. Ooh, to all my friends who play soccer, think about that text to self-connection. A lean, thin body helps it move quickly. Long legs help it run fast. Here we have a vocabulary word. Prey. Prey is an animal that is eaten by another animal. Up here there's a joke. 
Which cat should you never play cards with? A cheetah. Get it? Like cheater? A cheetah. Try that one on a family member. Great hunters. Cheetahs are sneaky when they hunt. Their spotted coats act as camouflage in tall grass. They stalk their prey slowly and quietly. Do you remember what prey means? When they get close, cheetahs chase their prey. But cheetahs get tired quickly. Phew! They need to rest, too. Camouflage. Here they break it down phonetically. Camouflage. Camouflage, an animal's natural color or form that allows it to blend in with its surroundings. Which of these pictures shows camouflage? Stalk, to move secretly towards something. Remember, they stalk their prey. They secretly move up on them slowly and quietly. How cheetahs live. Most cheetahs live in Africa. A very small number may still live in Iran, a country in Asia. Like people, cheetahs can live in different habitats. Cheetahs live on the savanna and in areas with lots of plants. They also live on grasslands and in the mountains. But cheetahs can't live near crowded buildings. They need an open space. Habitats. Habitat, the place where an animal or plant naturally lives. Savanna, cheetahs live on the savanna. Oh, a grassy plain with a few trees in a hot, dry area. Which of these pictures looks like the savanna? Maybe this one, hot and dry, a few trees. No matter where they live, male cheetahs stick together. Brothers live in a group called a coalition. 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 Female cheetahs live alone, except when caring for their cubs. Male and female cheetahs come together to have cubs. Then they live apart again. Do you think this is a picture of a coalition? I think it is. Brothers living together. Here's another joke. Which side of the cheetah has the most spots? The outside. Aww. Cubs. A mother cheetah has three to five cubs at one time. They are born blind and helpless. But the cubs grow quickly. They can open their eyes and crawl in less than 10 days. The mother cheetah keeps the cubs safe in their den. If she needs to move, she carries them in her mouth. Can you find the cheetah cubs? The cubs' dark coats blend in with the shadows. The long, soft hair along their backs looks like the dry, dead grass. The cubs are protected by camouflage. It's hard for predators to find them. Predators. An animal that hunts and eats other animals. Ready for the joke? On which day do cheetahs eat their prey? Tuesday. <laughs> Playing around. The cubs learn a lot from their brothers and sisters. They wrestle, stalk, and chase one another. They practice skills they will need for hunting when they grow up. Look at all these pictures showing how playful they are. 
When the cubs are older, the mother cheetah teaches them to hunt. She also shows the cubs which predators to avoid. Here's a hunting picture. What do you see happening here? Royal cats. Cheetahs have lived on Earth for a long, long time. As far back as ancient Egypt, pharaohs, that's another name for king, pharaohs kept cheetahs as pets. The famous pharaoh King Tut was buried with many statues of cheetahs. Here's a picture showing us the burial. The caption says, Statues of cheetahs from King Tut's tomb. Some ancient Egyptians believed in a cat goddess called Moftet. They thought Moftet could protect the pharaohs. Art from ancient Egypt shows cheetahs on statues, furniture, and in paintings. Here's another picture with a caption. Golden head of a cheetah found in King Tut's tomb. Do you see the next joke? Let's give it a try. How does a cheetah greet other animals on the plane? Pleased to eat you. <laughs> now think about it. Why is that joke funny? It's because the cheetah is a predator. It eats many other animals in the plain. Pleased to eat you. Cheetah talk. Cheetahs make sounds that tell how they're feeling. Cheetahs can't roar like other big cats, but they can purr like a house cat. Here's a dictionary for understanding cheetah talk. Purring. This is a low motor-like sound made when a cheetah is happy or content. Bleeding. A cheetah bleats when it's upset. It sounds like a cat's meow. Can you give me your best cat's meow? Hissing. When a cheetah feels angry or threatened, it may let out a sharp <sighs> sound. Chirping. Cheetahs chirp when they look for each other. The call sounds like a chirping bird. Churring or stuttering. During social meetings, cheetahs growl with a high pitch that stops and starts. Growling. A cheetah growls when it feels angry or threatened. Now let's listen to a couple of cheetah sounds. Can you understand this cheetah talk? How about this one? I'll post these cheetah videos to our Google Classroom so that you can try to identify these sounds. Saving cheetahs. You need space to run, to jump, and to play. And so do cheetahs. More people and more buildings push cheetahs onto smaller pieces of land. Cheetahs need lots of open space to live, to hunt, and to have babies. Less open space means cheetahs are disappearing. Today, fewer than 12,000 cheetahs live in the wild. But some people are working to save the cheetahs, and we are learning more about these big cats. The more we know, the better chance we have to keep the cheetahs on Earth. How does a cheetah change its spots? When it gets tired of one spot, it moves to another. Here's a glossary of the words from this story. It's giving us definitions. It's also showing us pictures. Oh, look at that. There's the savanna. That's what it looks like. 